seen a lens cap? Nah. So you tell us about your new project. So I'm going to try and use the pieces from the VW camper van to make something that looks a bit like Ayrton Senna's MP4 stroke 4 uh, McLaren from 1988, last year of using turbocharged cars in Formula 1. The car that won nearly all of the races of that season. So the advantage is it's mostly red and white because it has the Marlboro so sponsorship. So we've got the right A lot of white pieces. pieces, a lot of red pieces. Disadvantage is we don't really have any of the kind of technical pieces that you might need to Well, we've got four like that. tyres, so that's a good start. This is the reference shot. That's front on, and then we have a side on shot as well, same car. Uh, amazing how little head protection they had, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely amazing. That's actually Senna driving, and this is Bruno Senna driving it at the Goodwood uh, oh, cool. Festival of Speed a few years later. So. We're going to attempt to document some of this process. Mm -hmm. um, most of which will be Graham staring at the pieces and thinking and wondering what he's going to do next. Nice. Step one complete. Trying to get the length of the wheelbase right. So, supposing in the scale, because we have no choice about the wheels, right? That, that wheel has to be about the same size as that wheel. So, to get the right proportions, how long is the wheelbase? will base the distance between the two axles. You can just estimate it by thinking about the number of wheels. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. So like just measuring it really super roughly like that. It seems like the whole car is about six wheels long. One wheel in front of the where the fin is, four wheels in between. So you know, there's four whole wheels between the front and back wheels? Yeah. Okay, that needs to be a bit longer then. This is the kit that we have. So all the pieces that this is going to be made from are um, the same pieces that you can use to make this VW camper van. What's happening? I'm trying to figure out how to make this shape here. This is just a uh, sort of so kind of mock-up. Mock -up. Why don't you explain about how you made the nose cone? How does it work? Well, when they're on, they're, these things will attach there. There you go. This is the driving area. Mm-hmm. That steering wheel is going to go there. And this is the little head protector thing for the guy's helmet. Yeah, and then we need to make the air intakes all around here, and mm -hmm. this part of the body here. Make the air intakes under here. This is a bit where under which the engine is. We need yeah. to smooth that out, and then we need to make the rear We need to make the big wing. rear fin. Cool. How much more have you built since I last recorded uh, this? Uh, I don't remember, I think it was almost not built at all when you when you recorded it, so uh, it's all changed. See it from mm. underneath? Do you want to talk through its uh, features? Uh, yeah, so... Um, Tried to capture a little bit the way that the wishbones mount the, the wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got little wing mirrors there, which are red in the original, but we've sort of made them kind of red. Got a bit of um, the windshield. Uh, front wing is more or less the right colours. The engine, of course, is under here. Got the black parts there, the air intakes that uh, cool the engine. Mm -hmm. And we've got roughly the right shape of the red part at the back leading up to the, the rear wing. Oh, he's even got a little, uh, a little dial in his dashboard there. Speed on yeah. Nice. I'm going to drive it about a bit. Okay. What's the right noise? Meow. <laughs> 